Hello Capricorn and welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. I am Lorianne here to give you the messages for this week and I broke it down separately this week because we had a really big uh, kind of, you know, we've got all this planets are moving around a lot of energy shifting where we could be going from having a really good day to having this horrible migraine feeling a little bit dizzy. A lot of the ascension symptoms have taken place over the last few days. And I'm recording this on the 8th, but it's meant for the time that you view it for a seven to 10 day period. So we're gonna take a look at the overall energy for all Capricorns, and then we're gonna look at a group of these. And again, this is for the sun, moon, and rising sign. And what I feel is coming in for you overall in general for all of you is like a new person is coming into your life. Somehow, some way, you've got something new that is going to really help you grow, help you grow in romantic relationship, whether it be on a family level, career-wise, you've got something really, really wonderful coming in. Now you have the card of expansion. And expansion from my deck is talking about that. It's looking at one beautiful box, a pink box, and then all of a sudden we see all these other images. When we look through the box, when we see through the illusions that are around us, we can have clarity and a new something something coming in, okay? This is a new idea, a new offer, a new person. This is expansion of you. You're gonna grow on a really, um, I heard deep level. So this is like the true you getting ready to emerge over the next week where you're gonna feel a heightened sense of awareness in your body and what you eat. You're gonna feel it going into your body. Like, oh, I can't eat sugar because it makes my legs tingle. You know, it's like you're gonna identify whatever it is for you. So let's take a look at a group of you and that was meant for everyone. So. This could be you, this may be the other side, but I'm gonna view it as you and then the other side. And uh, for some of you, it isn't even a person, it's just strictly all you. We have the 10 of swords that came out. Now it's not by chance because it showed twice while I was shuffling your cards. And again, you, you know, I feel you've got somebody new coming into your life that's gonna help take this 10 of swords and turn it around and literally, you know, present you the Ace of Swords, where you're going to let go of what have has ever been restricting you, and you are going to grow. You're going to illuminate through this um, chance encounter. That's what I just heard. It's a chance encounter. So it's probably not somebody you necessarily know, although you could, Whatever it is, it's out of the blue. Whatever it is, it's flying in from out of the blue. And I guess we could kind of look at this as that being that, you know, where you're focused in one direction and not focused here and out of the blue, something just is handed to you. Um, I feel that's really what it is for a lot of you. It's a good energy. It doesn't feel good today. This is for some of you where you've been feeling those ascension symptoms. And if you're not familiar with it, I'm bringing Spiritual Live back and we're going to take it in and we're going to put it in a more private setting where we can talk a little bit uh, more freely and answer some of these questions for you. The ascension symptoms, all of the things I used to talk about in the former Spiritual Live. But now we're going to make it more specific for you without the looky loose uh, coming through, you know, making fun. <laughs> So let's look at the other side and who you're dealing with. And I'll, uh, yeah, we've got the nine of swords. A lot of anxiety, a lot of fear has been inside of you regarding this 10 of swords. You may have lost your job. You may have been focused a little bit too much in one direction and got your, uh, you know, the rug pulled out from underneath you, feeling that sense of betrayal. Whoever you were dealing with, they too feel this sense of anxiety. They might be feeling like you're not going to pay them for whatever work they did, vice versa. There is a huge difference of opinion between you and this other individual if this is a person. If this is a company, it's kind of along the same line where they might be thinking they did work for you. And, and they didn't do a good job is what I'm hearing. They did not do a good job. Through your personal growth, this is you being able to speak. You're feeling a little tight right back here in this part, 
right here in this part of your throat. You're feeling a little tight in that part of your throat, meaning you need to say something. You need to speak up, and that's part of the growth and expansion. Now, let's look a little deeper. I mean, this could be a soul connection, obviously. I will be doing special romantic readings because February is Valentine's Day. Um, but I'm still going to pull uh, one for couples and one for singles, a, a romance card at the end. Whoever you are dealing with, I feel they're very stuck and very stubborn individual and that they may have made you feel stuck and it wound up kicking you in the backside. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if you sit too long, you lose an opportunity. And I say that because it's very difficult for them, their cards, the detail cards to pull out. So this is an unhealed situation where something is flying in from out of the blue. The Knight of Swords is this information coming in, truthful information. It could be a documentation contract. Something is coming in with truth in it. And that truth is actually overdue. We have the Page of Pentacles, a very slow moving energy. It took a really long time for you to hear the truth of whatever happened. Whatever they did, this is an apology, really long time in the making. 4-5, I feel it's four to five years for some of you. If this is a family dynamic, if this is a romantic dynamic, if this is a business, this is four to five months, not years. Whatever it is, the growth and expansion in you, this is the new, this is brand new. This is a new person coming into your life that's going to say, you know what, cut that tie. Let that go and, and really ignite a part of you that says, okay, I am finally ready to release and turn the Ten of Swords into the Ace of Swords. You've got the Ace of Wands. This is a new beginning and it's like lined up. It's part of your uh, destiny. This person is like serendipity, right? You're going to love this new person. And it may not even be romantic. I feel this is a person coming in that's going to share information. That could be that could be uh, getting a mentor in your life. That can be any kind of... <laughs> I just saw a message pop up. That can be any kind of, uh, of uh, opportunity coming in. It is going to grow you. It's going to open your heart up. This is you going, oh my gosh, I am never going to get a job. Oh my gosh, I got betrayed. I've been waiting, 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 wait. No, no, uh-uh. You're going to say, uh-uh. This person is going to say, look, little cappy, <laughs> okay, little love bug, like my Captain Love Bug. You don't need to do that. Sever the ties with this and start something brand new. Something that's going to make you excited about life. A person who's going to ignite that sensuality, that, that passion is restored inside of you. Like, oh, I thought I would never fall in love again. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, that kind of an energy that makes you stop the fear and the panic that's been taking place. Now, if you've been feeling the ascension symptoms, you probably are feeling this energy that I'm talking about. This is a very, these are all not very good cards, right? On both sides. And I feel for a lot of you, it is absolutely you. It's not even the other person. This is you being blocked. This is feeling scared to make a step forward because of the betrayal, because of a uh, betrayal from a soulmate, somebody you thought had your back and they didn't, they hurt you. But when you recognize through this truth, through whoever this is coming into your life, it is going to be really um, like a breakthrough, like a huge hallelujah breakthrough kind of thing, you know, where you're going to feel great. Now we have the energy of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel Cancer is in this. I feel Pisces is in this. I also feel a fellow Capricorn is in this as well. And, you you know, possibly a Taurus, okay? But most definitely the energies of those elements that I just named, the energies of it. So the communication is going to be restored back in you. Your throat chakra shut. So when you meet this person and they share this information, you're going to go, 
oh, and you're, blah, 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 and you're gonna start talking. It's like, it's gonna open everything up. So this is like a, a big explosion opening you up to a brand new future. It's really gonna be very, very good. And it doesn't feel like that today. But remember, it didn't feel so bad the day before you felt bad, you felt good. So we always are in a continual uh, cycle in life. It's the ebb and flow of life that we fight that makes us feel restricted, that makes us feel stuck. And recognizing that, okay, yeah, you may have picked the person or they that was the wrong for you, or they did something. It doesn't even mean it was you per se. But whatever this is, this is a, a huge growth and expansion that's going to manifest into a brand new beginning. Really beautiful. Hold on one sec. I can write this down for you guys. Um, it's awesome. All right, let's pull a romance angel for the couples, and then we're going to pull one for singles. So, Cappies, what do we have for you? Let your friends help. That's what I'm talking about. You have somebody new coming in that's going to share something with you. That's going to make you see life or the situation from a different angle. And when we get out of that energy of feeling stuck and we can see it from seven angles instead of one, then we really can just expand and say, oh my gosh, oh, this makes sense. Oh, this makes sense. Boom, 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 boom. Like fireworks start going off. So let your friends help you when it comes to making a decision. If you can trust this apology that may be coming in, if you can trust what's going on in your life, in your romantic situation, but don't base it on your friends, but allow them to speak to you so something may ignite. Now, when it comes to singles, we've got finances and career. And absolutely, finances and career is a big thing on everybody's plate in the year 2020 and 2021. Uh, probably more so than ever in our entire lives. And with this offer, I feel that you're going to meet this person through your work. You're so work-driven right now. You really don't have time for a relationship, but it's going to fly in from out of the blue. This is unexpected. It just flies right in. But it took forever. You, you thought the love was never going to come. <laughs> and they're saying, no, no, baby, you've just been focused on finances and career. Keep doing it. You're going to meet them through your work. So I hope you guys have an amazing week. My Valentine's readings are on special. You can click the I, go down below, and please thumbs up and subscribe. Much love.